Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2, another episode of Boo Jordan, John Coleman, and Art Kirsch waxing about things that are probably not very poetic. Oh, wax they're on, poetic and they're important. Oh, oh always important. Oh, I feel better now. Thank you, John. Thank you, Bill. Stop whatever you're doing. Stop whatever you're doing and watch and learn. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, and speaking of important, the three of us have something in common, besides being old farts. The three of us are grandparents. Mm. Yeah, I'm Poppy. Now, Bill, you're among us. You're the newer or newest of the grandparents. Art and I have grandchildren that are in their 20s. Almost as old as you are. <laughs> How old is your, do you have one or two grandchildren? I have three grandchildren, two granddaughters. My grandson will be 15 soon. Wow. Hmm. Wow. And, and uh, I would say, John, uh, I have four grandkids, uh, but you have a gaggle of grandkids. How many? I do. I have, I have nine. Wow. Yeah. And you know, it's and you call them by the, and you call them by the correct name every time, I'll bet. <laughs> Being a grandparent has nothing to do with being a parent, really, I think. Right. It's, they're, they're similar, but they're completely removed, and they're wonderful. Being a grandparent is just wonderful. Well, I'm sure it's not my original statement, but I do tell people when they learn that they're going to be a, a grandparent is that it is very hard to top holding your child's child. Yes. It's, a, yeah. it's, a, it's hard to be. Hard yeah. to be. Now, Bill, and, and, and being able to give it back. Yeah, shake them up and hand them back. That's right. That's <laughs> that's one of the joys, Bill. Right. I, I, when uh, when we first became grandparents, we had to choose. Somebody had to choose. What is our name? Mm -hmm. So um, one of the things we did is we compared to uh, my daughter's in laws. They were Grammy and Poppy, mm -hmm. so we couldn't be Grammy and Poppy. We chose Grandma and Grandpa as opposed to grandmother and grandfather. So what are you? I'm a poppy. You're a poppy. And what, about your, wife? what about your wife? You? She's not poppy. No. Uh, she's nanny. nanny. She's nanny spelled N-A-N-N-I-E to yeah, declare where? her as opposed to a nanny. So. And I'm or, grandpa. Or nana. My, I'm grandpa. My wife is uh, Bubby. And Bubby. Uh, there are lots of grandparents around who are... Uh, uh, like uh, Nana, I think is uh, very sure. common. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, so we've got we've got a a, a wide variety of uh, grandparently names. And are you the same name for all of your grandkids? Sure. Yeah, I'm Poppy to all of them. So uh, uh, that's how they know me. And I mean, it's just music to my ears, Poppy. Yeah. So yeah. as the newest so... grand grandfather amongst us. What are the things that you found to be the most joyful and or annoying? Well, um, when, and I, and I said this at a, at a young friend's uh, graduation gathering last summer in front of his parents and stuff, when we found out we were just going to be parents, when we knew that our daughter Jessica was on the way and I told my dad and we were working on something in our house or something and he just stopped and he looked at me and he said, that's great. You get to grow up all over again. And that's the case with grandkids. Yeah. I think as parents, and I could be wrong, you know, the, you know, the, the mystery of time passage. Uh, obviously, we're aware and we've got great memories of Jessica, but maybe we were working hard or maybe, you know, we were distracted by whatever. As a grandparent, you don't have necessarily some of these distractions. So the first words maybe are even more impactful, at least maybe because they're more recent or watching them walk or, or learning, yeah, learning a new word or something. It's just, you get to grow up all over again, you know, Christmas morning. I mean, it's just magical all over again. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I think that's it's... the best thing. Or even when like, you know, I, you guys you guys know I, I love a good quote. I know uh, historical quotes or inspiring quotes or something like that. And uh, a month or so ago, my our grandson, Mason, went over to have dinner, and he was like, Poppy, give me a good quote. And it's like, <laughs> oh, man, you're, you're killing me. You're remembering some of this stuff I'm trying to pass along to you because 
as grandparents, or at least for me, and everybody's different, I don't know if you're, you, maybe you're not consciously aware as a parent that you're also a role model, but I've become very consciously aware that as a grandfather, I am a role model. So, oh, so uh, does that mean that Mason's wearing torn cargo pants? Uh, you know what I'm doing? Yeah, he probably will be. Uh, I'll probably hand them down, you know. Some, <laughs> so, no, but I think in att attitudinally and, you know, hopefully in, in passing down priorities in life, what's important, um, I think that I, I'm pretty mindful of that, I think. I have to tell you that the uh, the thing that was most uh, impactful to me, and uh, thankfully because I had parents who didn't interfere, and I'll get to that in a moment, is that the most difficult thing about being a grandparent is not to criticize your kids because they're raising their kids wrong. Okay. Uh, <laughs> like, how could you let them possibly do that? Okay. Now, we, we had our own foibles. And my parents, my my in-laws, well, my, my mother was something else, but my parents never criticized them. And I knew that they were biting their tongue when we allowed them to do this or that, or one of the kids broke their arm because they were playing on the monkey yeah. bars and they were really too young in maybe somebody's thoughts, but you know they really weren't. And everybody raises their kids differently. So the best advice I can give to uh, uh, your, uh, new grandparenting skills is not to criticize, unless you see that they're really harmful, like they're holding the kid out by one foot outside a moving car, okay, because they thought it'd be fun. Something like that you might want to interfere, but other than that, let them be parents, let them make their own mistakes and unmistakes and probably do things better than we have and just trust that they'll be they'll be good parents. That was the most difficult thing for me. What about you, believe, John? Believe me, I've already gotten I've already gotten the word. My daughter called me out on it once. And that's that's <laughs> the last time she'll call me out. It's like I did something. She said, Dad, I've got it. Yeah. Yeah. You're and, right. and John, you're you're pretty much perfect in every way. We've had these discussions before. Uh what, what do you find the most difficult thing about being a grandparent? Uh just you know, watching life uh progress. Uh, at, for a new generation. It's just eye-opening. Uh, it's all the stuff you thought you knew and you're remembering or maybe you're learning. Uh, and I have a last question for you, Bill, and is parenting, grandparenting part of embracing the boom? Absolutely. You know, we've talked about this. You, you, people complain about getting older and you want grandkids or you don't even know that you want them yet. You don't get those grandkids at 30 and 35 years old, generally. Right. I mean, they mathematically possible, I suspect, biologically possible, but uh, <laughs> probably not. So that is one of the joys of getting older to when you embrace the boom, you live your life, you forget your age, you love where you are, you embrace the boom. Amen. That's Amen. it. Here, here. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.